this is Murphy, and he's going to show you everything he's learned in the last week. That's a good boy. That's where he will place, and then down, and then we stay from here. This is there. I guess I'll start here. So stay is just the traffic stop. I go like this to him and walk away, keeping my hand up and saying stay. Then I give him a treat when I come back to him. So we place, and down, stay. Good. So he knows the drill. And then I get him over here, a little further back on the bed. Down, stay. Good boy. Alright, maybe we'll do that one more time. Come over here. Down. Stay. Good boy. So good. Alright, he'll go get it. If you take a treat and say go get it. You do that a little bit in between your training session. Keeps it kind of fun and exciting for him. Okay. Good. He is a terrier after all. You can go into his kennel with the command kennel as you point kennel. Good. He turns around and gets a treat. Do that a couple more times. Kennel. Good. That's a crunchy a treat. Takes him a second to get through that one. Alright. So hand command for sit. It's just like this. Good. As you notice, I'm saying good. The moment he does what I ask him to do, that means he's going to get a treat next. And that's what I wanted him to do. So, good. Our hand command for down is you put him in a sit first. <laughs> that's good. He heard the command. So, usually put him in a sit first and then... Uh, the hand command is just pointing to the ground, just like that. He's a good boy. All right, so we'll get him back in a sit. Good. It's a crunchy one. Take a minute. Okay. Good. And then you can get him in a sit from the down. We'll do that hand command again. Good. And now we'll do the verbals. Down. Good. All right. I'm just going to kind of reset him with a go get it. Get him back on his feet. So I'm doing together now. Sit. Down. Good boy. You are so good. Murphy is very food motivated and loves to train. If he gets food, he'll do whatever you ask him to do. <laughs> so funny. Yes, you have your boy. All right, go get it. Good. Go get it. Good. All right, and we'll do sit. Okay, sit. Wow, that's not quite. Not quite. I want you up here. Good. Down. Good boy. All right, so he also knows touch. He'll touch the palm of my hand. When I say touch, I put it on either side of the body. It's a way to maneuver him around if need be. Cool little trick. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. All right, we can place. Good. Go get it. All right, now I'll show you he can leave it. look up at my hands when I say that because he knows I'm, he's going to get a treat from the hands. Leave it. Good. <laughs> Leave it. It's a good boy. Get a little bit closer, see what happens. Leave it. So good. So good. And you can drop it too. You do this in different scenarios. I mean, if you drop a pill on the ground, you just say leave it, so um, you've got to train it all kinds of different ways, like in the real world, how you would actually use it. So, leave it. Good boy. 
leave it. Oh, so not quite. You just uh, put a barrier between him and the treat usually, and then he'll kind of wait, and then you can give the treat. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. Now this video is basically exactly how I do training sessions with him um, until he is full or loses interest. He keeps interest a lot longer than normal puppies or other puppies, I should say, because he's just so food motivated. Uh, kennel? He'll just keep going and going and going until he's stuffed, <laughs> which is really, really great for training because kennel? You can get a lot of time out of them and move to the next steps quicker than some pups that get full faster. Good. Come here. <laughs> Let's have you up here. Good. Good. So that is just about it. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. And we'll do the stay one last time. We'll go to place. Oh, what was that? Place. And down. Stay. Good. So that's still good. He stayed on the bed. All right. So that's it.